Okay, so first starting off with no makeup on, I just have a clean face and nothing on. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and apply some concealer right under my eye. I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 and I'm just applying this right under my eyes. We're doing a little bit more extra layers in this than I normally would on a regular basis, but I was just showing you how you can conceal your dark circles totally or any blemishes that you have totally just by a few more layers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my favorite foundation, which is MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I absolutely love this foundation. I know a lot of people say it breaks them out, but I like it and it actually doesn't. So I'm just applying this to my face with my Beauty Blender. If you ever want like a really, really flawless finish, I recommend getting a Beauty Blender. Um, they do cost like $19 from Sephora, but it is totally worth it. So it's just a damp Beauty Blender, makes your skin look really nice and airbrushed and totally fake. So make sure you bring that down your neck. You don't want to forget that, otherwise it's going to make you look off. Now grabbing my concealer again, which is the same concealer, and I'm just applying a few more layers of this. What I love about this concealer is that you can layer it up as much as you want, and it doesn't look completely cakey. You know what I mean? So I'm just applying this under my eyes and also to a few other blemishes that I may have at the moment, and just, you know, making myself look porcelain. Now grabbing my e.l.f. Golden Bronzer, which I love. This is $3. It's so funny how you can love something that's totally not that much money. And I'm just going to go ahead and take all the colors and set my makeup with it. I know it's really something weird that you guys wouldn't think that you would take a golden bronzer and set your makeup. But it just makes me have this flawless finish that I absolutely love. So I'm just putting this all over my face and just setting all my foundation. I'm going to take a lighter shade, the lighter shade in the palette. And I'm putting that under my eyes for a little bit of highlight. Um, so that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just using my Sigma powder brush. Now grabbing my e.l.f. cream bronzer and I'm going to go ahead and take this and contour my face. Contouring is one of the number one things if you want to make yourself look big. Con Contour, contour, contour. I love contouring. Um, it takes a while to master. I even sometimes think I don't contour the right way, but it's totally up to you and your face shape. So go ahead and make this really cute, like fishy face, and go ahead and go into your little bones and contour there. I'm also contouring my nose. I have a deviated septum, so it's kind of harder for me to contour my nose, but we're gonna roll with that. Now taking my Mac blush in Blush Baby, I'm just applying this to my cheeks. If you want to look thick and good in like pictures, you can apply more blush, just a little tiny bit more than you normally do, and this will make your cheeks stand out a little bit more. But don't go overboard, we don't want to look that <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and take my Beauty Blender again, and this is just going to even everything out just so that it doesn't look like blurry or anything with like our contour lines, I'm just blending that all out. Now taking my Anastasia Brow Gel, I'm going to go ahead and take this with a angle brush and I'm going to fill in those eyebrows. You guys know I'm not the best at eyebrows, I'm trying, but this is just how I'm doing them today. I'm just, you know, if you want to make them look fake, make sure you have a nice arch and just a nice like front part kind of. I don't know. I'm not that well with eyebrows. So. Now, okay, quick tip. If you want to look like you have porcelain eyeshadow, or like big eyeshadow. Make sure you apply a really nice brow bone. Never forget your brow bone color. Always apply a brow bone color color. This helps you look your makeup look look amazing. So just doing that, any light cream shade will do. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking this brown shimmery color from MAC with my MAC flat shader brush. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this color to my eyelid. Um, and I'm just blending that out nicely. If you want to look like you have nice fake porcelain eyeshadow make sure you blend it out really well because this just makes it look really nice and airbrushed and you know fake so we want to make sure you blend it out that's one of my tips if you want to have really nice airbrushed eyeshadow make sure you blend out because when I first started with makeup I was like how do people get their makeup like that blend 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 is the number one key now what I'm doing is I'm taking a black eyeshadow and I'm going to go ahead and apply this just right to my outer V and I'm just 
kind of pushing it on there just so that it can stay intact and it doesn't move anywhere else. There we are blending again with our favorite blending brush. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pencil brush from MAC and I'm gonna apply the black eye the eyeshadow right to my lower lash line. I'm not applying it on my waterline, I'm just applying it to my lower lash line. By not applying it on our waterline, it's going to make our eyes look much bigger and much larger and not as like sunken in with all the black. So if you want your eyes to look wider, don't apply black eyeliner to your waterline. I figured that out over my years. <laughs> Now I'm taking my favorite mascara by Maybelline and I'm just applying silver quotes to the lashes. I Fake eyelashes don't ever work on my eyes so if you have like the eye shape that fake eyelashes will work then go ahead and apply your fake eyelashes but I'm just using my natural ones just because I don't know I just love them. Now for lips, I'm taking a nude lipstick. You can take any lipstick you want. Just make sure you apply a lot of it because if you only apply a little bit of lipstick, it's not gonna like look as like nice everything. So now I'm just applying some shimmer all over the face just to add a little bit of shine and flawlessness. And I'm also taking a brown type eyeshadow and applying it to my lower lip just to make give my lips a little more dimension, making them look a little bit bigger. So now it's time for hair. I already have my hair lightly curled, but what I'm doing is I'm just taking my chai half an inch curling iron and I'm just going to start curling my hair in tight curls. And I love the way this looks. I feel like this makes me look like a little Barbie doll in a way um, because they're tight curls but then you kind of loosen them up in a way and just give them a little jizz. So I'm just doing that. Now taking some of this silky shiny stuff from Victoria's Secrets for your hair, I'm applying this to that just because I have a lot of frizz to my hair and this just makes it look shiny, nice, and healthy and makes the curls not look so frizzy and also makes my hair smell delicious. So I'm just applying this right to my hair just like so. And there we have it, the final hair look. And the makeup look and everything. Don't ask me what I'm doing right there. <laughs> but I really love this makeup. It's really fun and I just enjoyed doing it so much. I just love this makeup look so much. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. So that concludes my video on how to look fake, but not really, just makeup wise. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely go right ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. Click here to watch my last video where I get proposed to. <gasps>